Video editors. No more need to find any other graphics pack for your videos. I found the mother load. 2250 elements with 20 different categories and 600 sound effects. Introducing the Toko Graphics. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't bring me down, I'll be getting out. Now since you guys don't know this, I've been a video editor since 2018 and I've experienced the fact that creating motion graphics from scratch takes up a lot of time. But at the same time, these motion graphics look really nice in the video. So after I've got this pack, I'm literally mind blown with the stuff that it offers for the price that it offers for, which we'll talk about later in the video. But first of all, let me tell you, this whole graphics element pack, all the 2250 elements are fully editable and fully resizable. Let me show you how it's done. Here, as you can see, I've got this element which says live stream. Let's say I want this for a square post. All I have to do is go to the media pool up here, go to the timeline, right click on it, go to timelines, timeline settings. Here in resolution, we'll change it to 1080 by 1080 square. Hit OK. And as you can see, it's readjusted itself. So if I play it, see, readjusted. Next, let's say I want it for a vertical resolution. Again, right click, timeline, timeline settings. I'll go to the normal landscape ratio, which is 1920 by 1080. Hit use vertical resolution, hit OK. Again, it's done. So that's how easy it is to readjust any kind of element that you want. Now, once you've bought the pack to install all the files, there's no need to manually install every single element. Of course, they have given an option to manually install, which is the DRFX file. But they have done one thing better, which is they have given installer files, which means that if you're a Mac user, you have to simply open the PKG file. And if you're a Windows user, you have to simply open the EXE file, hit install, and every single element will get installed right inside your DaVinci Resolve. There's no need to do any kind of complex stuff. Simply open the package, hit install, and you're good to go. But there's one important thing that you have to do before you install all the elements is installing the fonts for the elements. How to do that? Go to the package that you've got, open the readme.pdf. Here, as you can see, there's all fonts in one archive. Simply click on this link, download all of the fonts, install them on your system, and you'll be good to go. Remember, if you don't install these fonts, the elements won't work. All the animations won't work. So it's really essential you do this step before you install all the elements. Now that we have installed all the elements, we are good to go. Just open the Vinci Resolve, go to the effects panel on the top left of your screen, go to titles and here open it up and go to Toko Graphics 4.0. If you open this up, as you can see, there's 16 different elements in the titles itself. There's also three types of transitions. Just go to video transitions, Toko transitions and there we have it, flat, camera and overlay transitions. That makes it 19 categories. There's one more category left, which is the glitch effects and one extra category, which is the sound effects that they had said, right? So how to import them? Let me show you how it's done. Just go to the media pool, click on these three dots right here and click on show power bins. Once you click on that, power bins will open up. Then go to the resources that we've got. As you can see here, extra materials. Just open these up. We've got glitch effects and the sound effects. Minimize this tab, select both of these and drag and drop them inside the master folder somewhere here not inside this section below the master folder and drop it once you drop it let it take its time and import all of these elements because there's so much of them there's 600 sound effects and many more glitch effects right so let the pc take its time let it install it this is kind of a filler but let it take its time and there we have it glitch effects and sound effects all of the categories now you may ask why power bins because power bins are the folders which are accessible throughout davinci resolve in every single project so the next time you are creating any project or working on some project you don't need to import all of these glitch effects and sound effects every single time they'll be available right inside your power bins now we've got our product inside davinci resolve but we don't really know what's inside these 20 categories we haven't seen all the elements right and hovering over every single element and watching it in davinci resolve will take a lot of toll on your pc so they have given us one more thing, which is just go to the folder that they've given us, go to the all previews link, double click on it. It will open up in your Chrome tab or whatever browser you have. And you can see every single element from all the 20 categories right here. There's no need to see it in the Resolve. This is much easier and won't take toll on your PC. 
after we have previewed all the elements let's actually use one of them so i'm in the previews folder and in the big titles folder i really like this little title that i'm hovering over so all you have to do is remember the name of the title which is big title 12 go to the winch resolve go to the effects panel go to togo graphics and here in big titles i've got this big title 12 so just drag and drop it inside the timeline that we've got i'll close this effects tab and here if i play it it's the same graphic now you can edit any of the stuff inside this graphic all you have to do is click on the graphic go to the inspector tab on the top right of your screen and here in the title section there's all kinds of controls you can edit the text to let's say something i can change it i can change the font of the text the size of it like this i can change the tracking the space between the text then there's also the change of color i can change the font color to let's say this green hit ok and the colors changed then you can also change the position of the box in the center then there's the position of the center text every single thing there's also the opacity of the box then there's group controls all these graphics are divided into groups so you can change their positions their sizes whatever you want so there's every single kind of control that they have given and also let's say you think that this animation is a bit too small right so what you can do is simply click at the end of the animation drag it to as long as you want you can stretch the animations to as much as time as you want so there's absolute total control over all of the elements that they've provided there are also a few image based elements that they have provided where you can import your own images as you can see here this is the social media 85 it's an instagram post i'll drag and drop it inside our timeline now if i play it the post opens up and there's space for two images a profile pic and the post of course you can edit all of the text in here the profile name the amount of likes and every single thing but you can also enter your own images how to do it just go to the fusion tab instead of one single node there's a group node open it up here they have given you two controls two boxes one is for your logo and one is for the post so just go to the media pool import whatever images that you want here in the instagram section i've got one logo and one post all you have to do is simply drag this logo and drop it over this node and leave it then it will ask you if you want to replace this node with your own logo hit ok and as you can see here i'll go full screen as you can see here the logo is replaced now the position is a bit weird so we can adjust it go to the second node open it up in the inspector double click on this and then you can adjust the size of it and we are good to go the logo is there again for post what you have to do is again drag it drop it over this little node replace it hit ok and we've got our post as well so that's all you have to do in image based elements they'll give you boxes just replace those boxes and you can adjust the position of your post however you want now if you go back to the edit page as you can see it opens up and there's our post the logo and the post and we are good to go now let's also take a look at the awesome transitions that they've provided just go to the toko transitions section here and let's say i'm gonna take this yeah camera transition 19 the basic zoom in all you have to do just drag it and drop it in middle of the two footages that you have and if you play it zoom they have not just given the transitions but they have also given the sound effects for these transitions all you have to do go to the media pool again the power bins that we have imported open sound effects and here sfx for transitions open it up go to camera transitions and we have used camera transition number 19 right so just check for camera transition number 19 up here in the titles you can see camera transition 19 so zoom in the timeline drag and drop this transition over here in the center and now if i play it as you can see the sound effect plays right with the transition so they have not just given the transitions but the sound effects for them as well so in the similar way you can use any kind of transition finally let me show you how you can use the glitch effects that they've provided so again we'll go back to the power bins here glitch effects there's elements and there's overlays and in both of them there's colorful and monochrome section whatever you want so let's go with the colorful one for now and let's go with this one yeah i like this one so what i'll do is i'll use this element as a transition for these two clips i'll drag it and drop it inside our timeline now one benefit here is that every single glitch element that they have given or overlay has the music attached right with it so there's no need to import any other sound the music is right with it now if i zoom this in here and drag it right in the center like this 
this is how the element will play right but the problem in every single glitch element is that there's a black background right so how to remove it click on the element go to inspector tab and scroll below to composite mode here you can either use difference in few cases but if it doesn't look good you can also go with screen it's according to your preference now if i play this see it looks really nice so you can use any of the glitch element i'll just randomly pick some of these elements i'll just pick it and play it like this see there's really cool dots so again click on it go to screen and it plays out so this is how you can use the glitch elements drag them in with the music and change the composite mode to either difference or screen whatever you prefer and you'll be good to go so that was the demonstration of the pack guys as you all know there are so many different amount of combinations that we can use in our videos to make them look much more gorgeous and eventually it depends on the creativity of the editor now let's talk about the price of the pack looking at the number of elements which is 2250 a person like me who knows how much time it takes to create motion graphics from scratch might think that maybe this pack is somewhere around 10,000 to 20,000 rupees Indian rupees which is somewhere around 100 to 200 dollars where 100 dollars that is 10,000 rupees is the absolute best case or the cheapest price maybe but that's not the case the price of this pack is merely $69. Nice. $69 guys, not 100, not 200, but 69. And just to tell you in Indian value, it is 5,728 rupees as of this date. So let's round it up at around 5.7K. Now I know that some people will still find this price a bit on the higher end, especially if you're a student or a beginner, but think of it this way. There's 2,250 elements, right? So let's assume that one element takes one day to create which means 2250 days, which means six years worth of work. You are basically getting six years worth of work only for 5,700 rupees. It obviously saves you a ton of time, but at the same time, it also increases your video production quality drastically, which might also get you a lot of video editing opportunities. Frankly, if you ask me, the return on investment of this product, it's really worth its price. It's been like a week since I've been using it and my videos already look so damn good. Also for your information, the product is on Envato market, but you don't need any kind of subscription it's a one-time purchase and you get the free updates as well so after watching all of this if you are seriously interested in buying this pack i'll leave the link in the description below and finally if you found this video useful if you found any value from it make sure you drop a like for the video it really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people also share this video with your video editor friends and finally consider subscribing to the channel. I post such kind of product reviews, tech related videos, I post DaVinci Resolve tutorials, I stream games occasionally and I post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shorts. So that brings us to the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.